Tonight at 10, Madison parents, police officers, and school leaders got together to talk about e-cigarette and the epidemic among young people everywhere. They discussed how they're going to fight the problem in their schools. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Way 31 Sarah Singletary was there. She joins us live now at Madison City Hall to walk us through the biggest challenges e-cigarettes cause for law enforcement and school leaders. That's right, Dan, Naja. the overarching message of tonight's forum was education, teaching parents first the dangers of vaping and e-cigarettes in hopes that they'll pass that information along to their kids who so often don't know what they're putting in their bodies. We stay away from the things that are no-nos like drugs and I consider vaping a type of drug. As a parent, Jennifer Pride never thought she'd find herself talking to her 10 year old about vaping, but that's how widespread the trend is. We talk about the health concerns and that, you know, we don't follow the leader. We are the leader. Tuesday night, Madison City Schools and the Partnership for a Drug Free Community invited parents to learn and ask questions about the nationwide vaping trend among young people. According to last year's National Teen Drug Survey, 17.6% of 8th graders, 32.3% of 10th graders, and 37.3% of 12th graders said they vaped or used e-cigarettes. Officer Shane Kiker is the school resource officer at James Clemens High School. He said they're finding themselves being more reactive than proactive against the issue because students are doing a good job of sneaking e-cigarettes into school. That's the biggest struggle for us is how easily these items are able to be concealed. He said they're catching an average of three students per week with an e-cigarette and these students are getting caught because of anonymous tips. I asked and Madison City School officials told me a student caught with an e-cigarette is given a disciplinary hearing and because the device is considered drug paraphernalia, students are getting an average punishment of 25 days in alternative school the first time they're caught. Right now, more than half of the district's alternative school population is there for vaping. We tend to see the certain uh, same kids getting in trouble for whether it's fighting or different things in the school. Uh, those aren't the kids that are getting caught with these jewels or these vaping devices. Pride doesn't plan on her daughter ever being in that situation. I'm just hoping that she doesn't get into it. We talk about that kind of stuff and I hope she pays attention. Officer Kiker, along with other school leaders and public health officials, are all encouraging parents to talk with their children about this, follow Pride's example, and start having these conversations about vaping and e-cigarettes as soon as you can. Reporting live in Madison, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News.